What's up, it's Hair Jordan. Today we're gonna to be making some DIY gadgets that are from the future. I mean, they're not really from the future, they're from the present, but they're pretty futuristic. Remember, I post a new video every Friday, so make sure you comment and like the video every Friday morning. I think I'm gonna start doing shout outs every week. So every Friday when I upload, I will shout out somebody who I see is like commenting and sharing the videos regularly, because I really appreciate you guys. So this week, I would like to shout out DJ. I see you commenting on the videos all the time. Thank you so much, I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, a lot of the things that we're gonna need today, I already have because these are super simple. But there's a couple things I need to pick up, so we're gonna go to the dollar store and get them right now. Oh, by the way, I built a workbench to do these. Do you like that? Here we are. Okay, so for this one, supposedly, you can make a projector for your phone using just a phone, a magnifying glass, and a shoebox or something like that. So let's try this. Hey, it works. Not bad. Weird. So first we gotta cut a hole in our shoebox. About like that. Whoa, this opens. Why? Let's trace this. Cool, now we just cut that out. I don't know where my knife went, so I guess I'll just use these scissors. Okay, so we got our circle cut, and it looks like if we just prop the magnifying glass up like that, it stays like pretty perfect. Cool, so now we just gotta put the phone in and get it to stand up. I'm not sure how far back to go. I'm also not sure if this is even gonna work. Okay, I figured it out. I can get my phone to stand up on its own just by using the cell phone holder I got from the dollar store, a random block of wood, and some duct tape. So first, I'm just gonna take this apart. Pop it off. My phone should fit on here. Cool. The problem is, it doesn't stand up, but it will if I tape it to a block of wood with duct tape. That looks good. Put the phone on there. Now we just gotta find something to watch. Okay, this looks like a winner. Oh, look, I'm in that video. If you haven't seen the prank wars between me and Robbie, there's a playlist. You can watch it get all caught up if you want to. But, anyways, let's test out this projector. Yeah, this does not work. <laughs> so I was projecting onto the wall like pretty close. Do I need to move it back? Let me try moving it back farther. Uh, no. <laughs> what the heck? This is crap. Okay, guys, I just ran around the entire room trying different ways, different angles and distances from the wall, from right up to it to far away. This just simply does not work. I don't know why I can't get it to work. This is worthless. Uh. I think we'll be okay. So anyways, I guess we can officially say that that one does, doesn't work. So um, don't, don't, don't try the projector thing. Okay, so for this next one, apparently you can make a speaker out of just a cardboard box and some plastic cups. And I've actually got my box over here on the floor because it's kind of big. We're gonna be doing a pretty big speaker because we want this to be extreme. Sorry, my garage is a mess. I bought a bunch of sound panels. I started hanging them and they just keep falling off. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. So first let's trace, trace the cup holes on the cardboard. That looks good. Something like that. Okay, that looks about right. Now we just gotta cut the holes out. Can't find my scissors. I think I threw them somewhere. <laughs> oh, found them. Okay, the good news is, I found my knife. The bad news is, man, I really messed this box up before I found the knife. Don't try to use scissors if you do this. It's just a bad idea. <laughs> it's okay, I think it's it's salvageable. So now we just gotta paint it. So let's get some spray paint. We're going with silver metallic because this is supposed to look all futuristic. Okay, here we go. Okay, that should be good. Okay, here we are. Safety first. Okay, so while we wait for that to dry, we can cut these cups so that they'll be ready when when that thing over there is ready. Found my knife. Sweet, just what we need. Okay, the spray paint should be dry, so let's go ahead and put these where they belong. Here it is, this is actually the next day, but I think it's dry by now. Yup, looks good. This is starting to look really cool. I am like Oh no! <laughs> I think we need to put some tape around here so that it's not all these big gaps and it'll also help it look a little bit nicer. So let's head back over there and, and do this. Okay. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I have duct tape. 
Okay, it's done. I went ahead and taped the top closed, and I also put a little light in there. It's just a battery-powered LED light so that it looks cool when I turn the lights off. I'll show you in a sec. And I also cut a slit in the top where my phone can go. So, let's try this thing out. Oh, that is sick. That looks so cool. <laughs> oh, man. Dang. I should have put more light, more holes in it because then the lights would look cooler. I guess that works so you can kind of still see it. Let's test this out. I don't want to get copyright claimed, so I'm just going to play my own song. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure we turn it up all the way. I'm going to press play and then compare before it's in the box and then after, and we'll see if it sounds louder and better. I mean, even if it sounds bad, it, it looks pretty cool. Let's try this out. It sounds exactly the same to me. <laughs> it's actually quieter in the box. <laughs> what? What? Rip off! Yeah, it's definitely quieter. What the heck? What if I just like hold it up to one of the cups? No. It's crap. The thing doesn't even work. Okay, so this thing is officially crap. It does not work whatsoever. It almost makes it a little bit quieter, actually. I wonder if I made it too big. Is it too big, maybe? Is that the problem? I don't know, though, because I saw people make big ones. I mean, it still looks cool. I just don't know what to do with it. I want to light it on fire and smash it, but it's kind of cool looking. I'll just throw it in a corner for now. Let's move on to the next crappy futuristic thing that probably won't even work. Okay, I'm really excited for this next one. We'll be making a hologram for a cell phone using just a Coke bottle. Crazy, right? If you've never seen this, prepare to be amazed. I already rinsed this out, so it's not gonna get my phone all sticky. A little bit wet on the inside, though. Yup. Definitely still wet on the inside. So if you haven't seen, they have these 4D videos that play on your phone. This is an app called Space 4D, but you can also just search for YouTube videos. And it plays a video that's like really weird like this, but if you place the hologram thing in the center and then watch it from the side, you can actually see the hologram. You can't right now because I have all these lights on and also I'm not done, but that's what we're gonna be doing. So we're actually not using this. It's not really the right shape. I'm gonna dry this out a little bit. And this actually works better if you have a flat piece of plastic. I know Coke bottles are rounded, so this isn't really the best way to do it, but if you have one of these laying around, it definitely works. So we need four, four pieces. I'll just do it and I'll show you. Get rid of this piece because you can't see through it. Cool. So that's all we need this for. This is what we really are after. Like I said, we need four pieces that are exactly the same. Okay, so I'm just going to measure this and, and mark it so that I know they're exactly the same. Pretty close. They are pretty close to the same. Okay, so I went ahead and cut them all into this rhombus shape. Is that what it's called? It's like a triangle, but it's like not really a triangle. It's also clear, so you can't really see it, but I'll tape them together and show you what I mean. Okay, now if you did this right, all the lines should have lined up perfectly when you taped them. And if you didn't do it right, then it'll look something like this. Here's the tricky part. You go like that and tape the last part together and it'll make like a cool pyramid thing with the point chopped off. That's what it should look like. Ta-da, something like that. Can you see it? It's still clear, but this is what it should look like closer to this. The dimensions are supposed to be one centimeter on the bottom, six centimeters on top, and then four and a half centimeters on the diagonal sides, which I don't know what the a centimeter is because my tape measure just shows inches because I live in America. So I just did a half inch on the bottom. So I just cut everything in half and that's about right. Now let's test this out. There we go. It's floating. It looks like it's flying inside the hologram thing. I should have made it a little bigger because I have the iPhone Plus. I don't have a normal size phone. So like, oh, that's so cool. The bird's like flying around in 3D. It also doesn't help that the Coke bottle is a little bit curved and I think you want it flat. So using flat plastic would have actually been better than a Coke bottle. Because a lot of the tutorials I've seen, people were using like CD cases and like really hard plastic. And that's just not realistic because it's one, super hard to cut. And so it's kind of dangerous. And two, it would be hard to cut it straight. So I want to do something that most people could do themselves. Using a Coke bottle or some type of clear plastic works great. You should try it and leave a comment and let me know how it turns out for you. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and a comment and tell me which one was your favorite and did you try any of these? If you did, how did it turn out? That's all for today. So I will talk to you next Friday and in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye. I guess this is fake crafts part two. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna be making some fake orange juice with a cheese packet. This is from the macaroni and cheese box. So first we just fill this up with water or whatever the heck. There we go. And then we add the cheese. Shake it up. And now we've got a bottle of fake orange juice. It looks like orange juice, but it's actually just cheese water. 
don't tell Robbie. I already poured myself a glass of real orange juice earlier. So, 